Yeah, it's uh, no, in Chile maximum is 40 years. No, it's a, a life in prison with no parole. Uh, and but effectively, it's, more, it's mostly 40 years. But 20 years is not the maximum sentence for a for a pre, pre first degree murder. It's not, it's not the maximum penalty. Uh, I kind of found myself um, watching kind of his incompetence and like trying to protect his family. I found myself thinking through ways that he could be better at it. You know, like kind of get rid of the body, things like that. I mean, kind of horrifying at the same time. Was that part of your intention of like the script and putting the movie together? Kind of, kind of go through that experience? Yeah, I guess so. I, I think uh, I, I love to watch, you know, my favorite channel. I watch a lot of TV, like character in the film. My favorite channel is uh, Investigation Discovery, which I love. You know, for only real cases of crimes. And they're so, you know, they're so, so lame, you know, so <laughs> badly done. You know, I don't know. So at some point in the editing, I, I, I keep it pretty, pretty clean, you know, like he was really efficient. Uh, and then one night I was watching my favorite channel and, and I saw this, the case of this woman who killed his, um, her uh, boyfriend. And uh, she killed the boyfriend and then like uh, he leave it on the floor, you know, like of the apartment. And then she goes to the, uh, you know, to the um, hardware store to buy a saw and she started, you know, cutting the body. And then she found a, a, a guy, on the, his neighbor, on the, on, on the stairs, you know, and she said, what's wrong with you? You look bad. And she said, yeah, because I killed my, my, my boyfriend and I'm cutting him came off and you know, throwing the pieces around the town. And he said, oh, okay, you know, like, he doesn't believe, you know, people do stupid things when, the, when they're not, you know, psychopaths or, you know, people that train in killing. So he was really lame at that, you know? And, and actually we were, we were realizing that while we were doing the shooting, you know, we, we say, how could she move the body? You know, it's easier with a plastic bag because that's the thing he has on hand. He was very handy, and we actually have him doing all the physical work. You know, during the film, you know, when when he's carrying the, the body on, on the hill, you know, that we see like 45 seconds or you know maybe a minute of, of that shot, and but we would stay there for like 15 minutes, I think, if he moves the thing from one place to the other. You know, like it takes that long time. You know, so it's it's difficult, I guess. I guess he should he should have used he uh, should have used uh, the chainsaw. I guess. <laughs> that's, that's a good piece of advice, you know. Buy a chainsaw and then do it quickly. Did you ever talk to him at all or was all your knowledge about the case from what you read in the press? Uh, I mean all the legal procedures at the beginning of the of the film, I think it's, it's the closest to the real case because the, the family and all the people were actually going into court many times and trying to get a restraining order and everything. The policemen, they don't do anything because um, that's what happened, you know. They don't, they don't do anything unless there's a crime. And in, in a way, they're right, you know. Like, uh, I mean, the guy did, you know, nasty things, but uh, maybe he would be, you know, 50 days on jail or something like that, you know. That wouldn't solve the problem. No, I don't because I, I don't want to, to get into the real case. I, I start to explore more what, what would happen if, 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 you know, someone who's not made to kill someone happens to kill someone, which I think is terrible. Because I think at the end he realizes he's not made to, you know, he, he won't be able to live with that. And, and that's what happened with the real case, actually. That's what wanted me to make it the film because in the real case, when they interview the father, I saw, you know, and say, you know, the police wasn't doing anything, he almost killed your son, he was almost raped your daughter, and you know, would you do it again? And the guy's saying, of course not. You know, because you have no idea what is to kill someone. You know, and he said, I wouldn't do anything. You know, take my family, go to a different place, and, and you know, like, start all over again, but I, I would never go through that. You know, so that's, that's what I wanted to make on the film. You know, the, very, the first 40 minutes and half of the film is like, it's the classical film where you're rooting for the guy, you know, like, ah, oh, get rid of him. You know, kill him, you know? you know? Get to the title of the film quickly, you know, kill him. <laughs> you know, and then you get to a point and then I say, okay, it's not that easy, 20 minutes, that is the killing, actual killing, you know, that it's not that easy. And then the 20 last minutes is like, okay, the, the whole, you know, process of him realizing that he was not made to. <laughs>